In this video, I'm going to teach you how to survive in DayZ as a beginner for the first 30 minutes. And we're actually going to go through it live 30 minutes. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to tell you about my, my process, my mind, what I'm thinking, what I'm going to do. And basically our goal is survive the first 30 minutes and head out to the next town. Everybody, much adventure here today. Um, so let's start, guys. So welcome to Day Z. If you've picked up this game, you've probably noticed that it's kind of confusing and there's lots of stuff going on. And, uh, you know, it's you're probably dying of starvation and lots of stuff. And that's because it's a huge game. Now, the goal of this video is to help you survive as a beginner for the first 30 minutes. Um, because there's so much stuff here that I, I we're not getting into in this video. Anyways... I've, I, one thing I noticed about um, how-to videos of DayZ is that they're very like, you know, step one, do this, step two, do this, step three. But none of them really walk you through the process and, and, tell, and take you. Um, and that's what I want to do here. That's exactly what I want to do here. So we just spawned in. We're facing uh, north. Now, one thing you really want to do, guys, and especially if you're playing with a friend, if you're meeting up with a buddy in DayZ and you want to... The only way to do it is if you both spawn in the same place, basically, and then link up together. Um, I'm just looking for stuff here in this gas station. So what you want to do is find a street sign, which we're going to see in two seconds here. I'm not going to turn that. Here's some clothing, guys. We're going to find a, uh, a street sign, and then one of you will have to basically... Uh, you know, one of you are going to have to die until you keep dying over and over again until you finally end up in the same town. Once you're in the same town, then you can meet each other. I just wanted to get that out of the way because a lot of people are looking for their friends in this game, how to play, and that's basically the only way to do it. You both look for a street sign, and then you, uh, one of you dies until you spawn in the same town. So, guys, let's talk about a couple things. So, as you see, the bottom right corner, we have our um gauges down there right so you'll see we have a water gauge that's what that one is left to right we have a water gauge we have a food gauge we have a temperature gauge and then you have your blood meter and then your health meter which are both full but as you can see the food and the water are going down now when you spawn in most servers you'll get a, a little fruit you'll get a little glow stick and you'll get a uh, half of a bandage which is great. This menu, guys, this is the inventory menu. I'm pressing tab on uh, PC to get this. I'm not quite sure what the button is on console, but it's your inventory button, right? So this allows you to see what you have over here on this side and then what's in the floor, the vicinity around you, right? So uh, number one, I mean, let's eat. The first thing when you spawn in, you might as well just eat because you get, you're getting you're given a plum, you might as well eat it, right? So you, you drag it, as you see, I just did that. You drag it from your from your inventory into your hands, which is down here in the middle. Then you get out of your inventory menu, and then you hold down um, your trigger or shoot button, which would be, in my case, is left click. Hold that down to eat the fruit. Essentially, all of Daisy's inventory systems kind of work on this uh, principle where you're dragging stuff into your hands, you're combining things. Uh, that sort of thing. Next up, guys, you see our temperature gauge. Look how that is blue. Not good. The longer that stays blue and the longer our food and water stays yellow, the more susceptible to illness we get. And that you can get a flu, you can get a bunch of illnesses, which is not good, let me tell you, in DayZ. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into that right now, but you don't. You basically, you don't want to be sick, right? So what, what does that mean? You need warmth. Okay, so let's, let's get warm. So you spawn in with a t-shirt, you spawn in with pants... And on the floor here, we have a hoodie. So right away, I'm going to click and drag that over to where my hoodie, my shirt is. And it'll auto replace that for me. Now, one thing you want to watch out for, guys, is it, it will put your shirt on the ground. But everything inside your shirt, all your storage in your shirt, will also go with it. So you want to make sure to double click those. You can click and drag as well. Uh, double click is also easy. Um, and bring those back over. Otherwise, you'll 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 have a terrible time. I've done it so many times. And you go, where's my gun? Where's my ammo? Where's my food? And then, oh, shit, I left that shirt two towns back. Um, a bandana, guys. Take that. You can either wear bandanas as hats. Um, or you can also wear them as face coverings. Both of them give you insulation. Hat, for now, I feel like is a better choice. Um, and then we have shoes here, which are pristine, bad insulation. Our shoes are low insulation, so we'll keep our shoes. So anyways, there we go. That's that's basically how you load up on uh, clothing. We already checked that place out. Now what I want to do is head back into this main town. So the goal is, when you first start, is you're not going to ever find anything good in the main town that you enter. The first town. The, the spawning towns. Right by the coast, right? Everyone spawns by the coast. And the way to think of DayZ is basically the more north... 
quest that you go, the better the loot becomes. Which is what the, the game is essentially all about filtering people to this final military zone called Tizzy. Um, and that's where you find the, the crazy stuff, right? But I mean, just to get to there, just to get to Tizzy, you're going to have to know a lot of stuff, right? You're going to have to know a ton of stuff. Um, now back to that, that we were talking about towns and maps and stuff, right guys? So you want to look at this and what you want to do is you want to Google I survive, which is a map that you get, right? Okay. I'm pulling up I survive just to show you guys. So we just saw that street sign and where are we? This is where we are. Solonichki. This is I survive, by the way, you just go to I survive. You go over here to maps, right? They have Cherneris, they have Livonia, they have all the, the modded servers. They have lots of stuff. Uh, this is just telling you that you can actually pinpoint things and have a... You know, invite your buddies to it, and then you can all see where you are if you all pin stuff. So so this is where we are. We're right on the coast, so there's not going to be the best loot in here. So what I would do is immediately look at this and go, okay, Dolina is our next spot. But to make this journey, we're going to need some clothing. We're going to need some, hopefully, weapons. Doubt it. And we're going to need some food and water for sure, guys. So that's the mission in, in your starting town. It's find food, find water... And then get the hell out, basically as fast as you can. Because if you... Most people will leave freshies alone, which is what they call um, new players. It's called freshies. But most people will leave you alone, but some won't. And so really, you just want to get the hell out of here. Uh, now, here's the situation, guys. We have a beanie on the floor. So what I'm going to do here is drag my bandana to my face and then drag the beanie up. Provides more insulation, right? As you can see here, always on these bedside tables. It's hard to see, but a little buckshot. Um, a, a computer tip, guys. I forget. I don't know what the console commands are, but on computer, if you hit your right mouse button in, you'll do like this little zoom in thing, which is huge. You'll you'll get addicted to this if you play a lot of Daisy. And then when you go to play your games, your own games that aren't Daisy, you'll say, "Man, you'll be clicking it, and you'll you'll be playing Warzone, and you'll be going, "Oh man, I wish they had that zoom." It's crucial. So okay, guys, what we're doing, remember, is just looking. You can see here, you see how the, the Capri Pants has a, a kind of yellow, dingy yellow little thing on it? That means the quality of it is damaged, right? So you don't want that. You don't want damaged clothes. You can you can repair your clothes. I don't know if we're going to get into that in this video. I, we probably don't need it. But you don't want to be picking up damaged clothes unless you have the, the keys to repair. Now, I heard a zombie, but I don't see a zombie. Oh, there he is. Now, here you go, guys. First zombie encounter. Hold your aim, which is on computer right click. Hold shift, and you can do power punches while you press hold. While you hold, um, you gotta press left click while holding right click to punch. And now, another thing is you can reverse, as you can see I'm doing. Hold right click and reverse, and you'll block. You'll, you'll block, and the zombies' hits won't get at you, right? I just wanna get rid of this guy, though. It's. You'll, there's a lot to learn in melee hitting zombies. Um, you can see here, I'm going to pull up my vicinity menu, nothing there. Now you'll see here, look at this right here. See how I have a one with a slash with like a blood? That's, I'm bleeding now because the zombie hit me. Not all, you'll, You won't bleed every time, but you'll bleed a lot of times. So essentially, put your band-aid, drag it into your uh, inventory like I just did. And now hold left click and you'll bandage yourself. It's crucial that you do this very early because you see my blood meter down there. Um, the more bleeds that you get... And the faster that it bleeds, uh, essentially your health will drop, and then the, the game world will kind of go black and white. It's just, yeah, it's not good to be low on blood in DayZ. It essentially ruins everything. Uh, <laughs> but, but you can survive. If you get low blood, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. So I'm just going house to house before we're getting out of here, guys. Just checking for any weapons I might find, any food I might find, or even better uh, insulation. Because really, we need all of it. Now, here's a here's an interesting little situation. Our first gun. Uh, guns will spawn in the these areas. They won't spawn all that often, and the bad guns will spawn. But they do spawn. I'm going to put that in my hands now. And you can see down here, you see that I've put that in my hands, and now I have a mag. And the mag has, shows that it has four bullets. Um, which is awesome. Sometimes you'll get a gun, and it won't even have a mag in it at all, right? And you can't... You can basically chamber one round and use it, but you can't use it with the mag, so... It's a good thing to check. It's a great thing to check, actually. Um, there's one thing you can do, right, is you can take the mag out of the gun. I'm just showing you guys this just to show you for later. You can take the mag out of the gun, right? You drag it into your inventory. Now you can drag that mag back into your hands 
to put it in the gun, what you want to do is drag it into the combine, and now you see how it turns orange. That's going to combine it with a gun, so you'll you'll uh, put it inside the gun. And to swap, you'll put the mag in your hand, and you'll put the gun back in your uh, inventory, right? So now I have the mag in my hand, and while the mag's in my hand, if I have bullets, this is where Daisy gets complicated, if I have bullets, I can load them, or uh, I, as you can see here, I can unload the mag, right, which I'll do now. Right, you hold left click, and now I'm unloading the mag. And now, if I go back into my inventory, um, you'll see the bullets, the 380p uh, bullets there. You'll see the empty mag. Um, now you're saying, well, okay, let's put them back in. So I'll take my bullets now. I'll drag them into my mag. I'll combine the bullets with the mag in my hand. And now I'll hold left click again. And now I'm loading the mag again. Right. That you know what? I'm glad we found a gun right now because that is a uh, that'll save you a lot. And now if I want to put it back in my gun. I'm going to drag the gun into swap over here. I'm going to put the gun in my hands. And now with the gun in my hands, I'm going to drag the mag back into combine. Or you can or you can even put it into the little uh, magazine thing down here. All right, you see we also have a spot for a suppressor. You can chuck it down there. All right, now I have a gun. There you go. Easy as that. Now, guys, because I have a weapon, what I want to do is I want to drag my gun... Or I'll use it from here. I'll drag my gun into my slot here, my quick bar slot. So you can pick anyone you want, but this this makes it so you can just hit these buttons to get your uh, weapon out, right? Good rule of thumb if you're playing DayZ is put your weapons away unless you're using them because people will think you're very shady if you have a gun around them. Um, so tap one, puts the weapon away. Tap one, puts it back. One thing to note, guys, if you don't have the inventory space to store your gun... Or anything that is in your hand and you try to put it away, it won't allow you. So if you're having troubles, if you're pressing put away and it's not doing it, it won't allow you. Uh, and now here's the interesting thing. I mean, we're learning lots here. This is amazing. I mean, there's so many different things happening. This is a dead survivor and you can see that because it says survivor. And you'll hear flies. Unlike zombies, when survivors die, you'll hear flies. So if you hear flies, it's a good thing to uh, either somebody just died or something's going on. Now you see that they have a plus icon beside them. The way to check what's in their inventory and their whatever is you hit the tab on computer. You open up your inventory. Now, this guy's a fresh spawn, obviously. He has a band-aid. I'm going to take that and drag that into my bandage just to, uh, as you see, right? Do that again. Wait. Oh, never mind. I'm switching them. I'm an idiot. Never mind. I'm going to drag both of those in there. <laughs> and look, he's got a pear. I'll take the pear as well. I'll just put that right in my hands and eat that, actually. This is just lucky. I'm going to eat the pear right now. By dragging it into my hands and eating it. Pears are pretty good. Not bad. Fruit's good because you could just eat it. It's great. It's getting it looks like it's gonna be nighttime soon, which is not ideal for this tutorial, but whatever. Um the glow stick's kinda useless to be honest. I'm gonna keep mine. I, you know what? I don't even need mine. Let's get rid of it. Honestly, even though it's nighttime, actually I'll keep it because just for a YouTube sake, I'll keep it, you know? Just for video sake. Now, a lot of times you'll see a sort of situation like that, and it's kind of like, what happened here? Did this guy get killed? Did he get murdered? But I was already in this house, by the way. Um, in that situation, seeing a dead guy with full stuff, and he didn't really have anything, I mean, that guy spawned in and basically just died, so. Was that me from the last life? You never know. Um, so again, when you see, here's something interesting, guys. This is a blue building. It's a hospital. When you see these long blue buildings, it's a hospital. These are super important in later game stuff. Not so much early game, not so much for this tutorial's sake, but if I wasn't... There's a bandage, let's take that. If I wasn't doing this, I would definitely maybe venture in there. Maybe we should still venture in there, because you might find some stuff, but... Here's some gloves, guys. NBC gloves. They're good for nuclear protection, but in general, gloves are great to have um, for lots of different reasons. Basically keeping your hands clean, um, you know, getting bushes and stuff, cutting up ladder or sliding down ladders. A lot of stuff gloves are great for. Now, these are all also great buildings to see, guys. These little buildings here are, um, I mean, essentially you want, to, you want to go everywhere that you can. But essentially, these are great buildings because they are stores. And what they will have is usually uh, hunting supplies. A lot of times they'll have hunting supplies. Nothing here really that we need now. If there was clothing, that would have been great. And sometimes they'll have guns and stuff in here. Doors are open, so, I mean, to me, this has been looted already. But that's all right. That's all right. Um, was I in these houses? I don't know. It's worth checking literally everywhere, right? Oh, and here we go. Paj Pajka. This is food. 
So I'm just going to take that and drag that right into my hands. Uh, this is different. It has a lid on it. So what you want to do is uh, click, left click once, right? He opens the lid, and then you eat it by holding down. You can put this back in your bag. You can store it for later, but... Ooh, what do we have there? Um, there's no point. Honestly, as long as... If your food... As long as your food is not literally at the very top white, and as long as your, your water is not at the very top white, there's very little reason to just not eat everything as soon as you get it. Because it gets it out of your inventory, and then if somebody kills you, they can't, uh, they can't get it. And what do we have here, guys? A BK-18. Is this my lucky day? Is this scripted? Is this video scripted? Uh, this uses 7 by 762 by 39. This is nice to have. A good thing with rifles and longer guns, unlike my pistol here, is to save inventory space. You can actually drag this bad boy. You see these two slots up here? These are your shoulders. You can drag that bad boy into your shoulder. Now you got a shotgun. Or a, uh, sorry, a rifle or whatever. You can do baseball bats or lots of stuff you can put up there. Shovels. Whatever. Um, now, the thing with guns is just socially we haven't met any characters yet and i doubt we i i'm not sure we will in this area but more food let's take that take more food take more food for sure um the thing with the characters guys is that or sorry with the players oh belaclava let's exchange exchange that so drag that onto the floor drag my belaclava in because it's the best insulation and there we go. And this is a great time to explain what I was just going to say, where the more uh, dangerous you look, the more unfriendly you become as you play DayZ, right? So the more, when you see a guy and he's completely looted up, I mean, he's, he's very little trust is left. Or it gets thin. The trust gets thin, let's say, right? Um, so just keep that in mind as you're looting up and as you're getting gear, you're kind of advertising yourself as more dangerous, right? Every little thing you get is more dangerous. So guys, I'm still checking. Ooh, brass knuckles. Okay, I'll take that. What we do with these is we drag those again into your slot right here. Drag that into the number two. Now when I press number two, it slides the brass knuckles on. There we go. Track suit jacket. Um, my hoodie's medium insulation. Track a jacket is bad insulation. Always make sure to check the insulation before you change clothes. Just because it's a jacket and you might think it's great, it's actually not as good as what you're currently wearing. Um, okay, so, I mean, right away, we still need the water. We still need food, a little bit of food. We could take this, put that into the hands, just like I just mentioned to do that. Might as well eat it now. Um, for sure. Now, let's talk about water, okay? So, now I'm looking for water. Now, yes, you can check out your iSurvive map for water spots in every single town that you're in. And it's super helpful because you can basically just beeline it right there. But what if you're just not looking at your iSurvive map or whatever, right? Let's just say you just want to play the damn game. Well, how do you find water? Well, what you do is you basically go to what you think is the most center location in the, in the town that you're in. And you kind of start from there, and honestly, you cannot go wrong by doing that. Ooh, suit pants. See, my crop pants are bad insulation. Worn. Suit pants are low insulation, which is better than bad insulation. We're going to change that. And like I said earlier, see how everything over here... Uh, see how everything goes there? So you just double-click all that. Puts everything back. Look at that, guys, over here. Sewing kit. Beautiful. With the sewing kit, essentially, when your clothes are damaged... I don't think I have anything that's damaged anymore... But when your clothes are damaged, you drag the clothing into your hand, and then you put the sewing kit in your hand, and you'll repair your clothes. It's actually a great thing to have. And you can see now my temperature gauge is in the white, which means we're totally fine. Well, let's go over here to these working boots, guys. Let's check that out. Low insulation, working boots, high insulation. So, boom. Change those out. Change those out. We're just get Now we're just gaining insulation, which is great. Because once you're at a certain level, especially on these maps, if you guys play modded servers with winter maps, it can change. But on these maps, um, you know, once you get a certain level of insulation, basically the weather is never an issue for you. So, okay, so water. Before we get out of here, it's where is the damn water? Usually the water is in the centers of towns. Sometimes they're in backyards. But most of the time, they're in kind of a centralized location. 
They're, they wouldn't, not necessarily in industrial locations, but kind of these residential housing spots. I don't, I'm tell, I'm, beyond, I'm being honest with you right now as you're watching, that I do not know where this water uh, pump is for this town. But, as I explained, I kind of want to help you guys uh, find it on your own terms. Right? A lot of times, you'll see it. Oh, shit. The zombies heard me. Um, wow. Well, while we're looking for that, here's another thing I'll explain, is, um... Sprinting. So I'm just walking right now. There's that dead body we passed. I'm just walking right now, but you can sprint. I'm kind. Of, I feel like I'm back tracing a lot. Sprinting is holding down shift. You'll sprint. You'll see the meter. Kind of my head's covering it right now, but you'll see that meter. It'll start to deplete. This is not where I want to go, guys. This is not ideal. I think we got to get out of here. And I mean, if I can't find it, I mean, then uh, let's look up the damn map. <laughs> But basically sprinting, here's the thing about sprinting, is it drains your food and your water a lot faster. So you see those lines that are on my food and water currently? If I sprint, the, the lines will they'll be more. They'll see how there's two. If I start sprinting, watch, right? Now three on food, right? So it's kind of a uh, sprint when necessary. Once you learn the ropes of DayZ and you're like very comfortable with the gameplay and all this, then sprint to your heart's content. But, uh, just as a kind of a rule of thumb is don't sprint like crazy because you'll regret it when, especially when you ver first start playing. You just, yeah, it's not good. It, I mean, trust me, once you're loaded up on food and water, sprint to your heart's content by far. Just, just be, be free. Still looking for this water, guys. Um, train tracks. Unnecessary. And I mean, if we can't find water, it's going to be... Ooh, what are we at? What the hell? Cons construction light. What the hell? Ooh, a cooking pot. This is actually... These aren't bad to take, and I'll explain. You can store stuff in the cooking pot, and then you can just put the cooking pot in your inventory. So, you can actually store things in it. Um, as well as water, which is a great thing to have. And if that's all you have, then... Um, you know, you can fill up the pot with water, essentially. Sorry, I'm kind of rambling now. Okay, guys, we've got to find that water, basically. And then we're getting out of here. Now, what can you... Now, what do you do? I guess this is a good example to just talk about. What do you do if you're just... A, you want to get out of here. And you don't have the water. Now, that door's locked, so let's go in this way. Aki mask. That looks terrifying. We don't need that. It's turning into nighttime. No big deal. No big deal. We have glow sticks. One thing I really need is a backpack, because that just kind of makes your storage go crazy. Some zombies will have a backpack. Um, but otherwise... You just have to find one. Well, I think... Do I do I look? I'm, I'm searching for the water. We're searching. I'm sorry. Everything I said was a lie. Like, we don't have water in this town. Well, I'll be. Oh, yeah, we do. Never mind, I'm, I'm a liar. Of course we do. I'm a total liar. Uh, it's kind of in the middle areas. As we're leaving, come back. Main town. Yeah, we're, it's kind of in the, wherever that is. The main area, you could say. Should be like around here. Train tracks? Okay, it's before the train tracks. Okay, see, that's, this is why you gotta use I Survive, guys. Here, let me show you actually how, how I'm doing this. So, check this out. So, this is the town we're in. I'm zooming in. This is so cheating. But, see, these are the train tracks, right? So, I just crossed over, and it looks like the water's just right there. Which it usually is in the center. Uh, I don't know why I wasn't sticking to my own advice. So, we were by here. It's gotta be around. There it is, right there. I don't know how I didn't see that earlier. Um, here's a zombie. He's coming to us. It's getting hard to see. So this is not ideal for this training video, but we're going to power through. Now, zombies scream and they'll attract more zombies. So always just be careful of that if you can see down there. Yeah, he hears me now. Once they scream, they'll basically attract whoever's in the vicinity. Uh, and then it'll take a second and they'll come over to you. Now you can see this zombie has that plus icon behind his name, which means that he has something. What does he have? A blood test kit. Not really that ideal. Um, so, here we go. This is what we do. When you get to a pump, you just literally go to it and you hold your action button, which on PC is F, right? 
and you'll start drinking. It's literally that simple for drinking water. I'm glad we found this, to be honest. <laughs> um, the, the kind of thing about water is you want to drink it for a long time. You might actually be shocked at how long you have to drink it for when you first spawn in because you have no water and you're yellow. So you see that water icon? It's going to go up to white, but then you're going to see a stomach icon beside it. And once you see the stomach icon with like a little spinny wheel in it, um, that's telling you do not drink anymore. That's literally what that's telling you. Because if you do, then you'll barf. And then if you barf, you'll lose your food. You'll lose more water. Not a good sight. So, so basically drink until you see that icon. It works the same with food. Oh. I think somebody might be here. Um, one thing you'll learn, guys, is that water pumps for... Oh, here we go. Hey. What's up, man? Most people are friendly. If they have if they have no mic, kind of like that guy. Um, he's not as friendly as you think. There, we got that stomach icon as you see, and now I'm actually going to get out of here. Because that guy's kind of freaking me out. He's... He's just doing his thing. He's just doing his thing. You see that, guys? I mean, you can try to talk to guys, which I just did. But, uh... <laughs> They don't want to talk. That's kind of your sign to get the hell out of their way and leave. And which is exactly what I'm going to do. It is very... This is a, a slightly modded server. It's basically as... As fresh. It's kind of like a... Um, a vanilla server that I'm playing on. Spaggy's vanilla server, guys, if you want to know, actually. Might as well give a shout out. Um, and it's very vanilla. A lot of new players coming in. So there's not a lot of mods here, so... Um... I think the mod- I think they have a darkness mod to make this like, holy moly, jeez, where are we going, right? Um, but what I did notice is that if you look at the map again, let me bring this map up again, right? There's one long road that leads out into the forest, away from the coast, so it's as simple as following that, right? Essentially, follow this road to the next town, Delina. And the reason you want to do that is because that is where you're going to find the better stuff. Um, I'll tell you right now, running this right now with um, my glow stick is a terrible idea. And you know what else I didn't do? Which I'm going to go back and do right now before I get on this. I don't want to take this guy out. He's a friendly dude. I'm going to go back to that water pump and I forgot to fill up my pot. Because it's always, trust me, if you can get more water, guys, it is so worth it. You always want to have... Oh my god. This server is insane. I can't see anything. Okay, I'm... I'm oh my god, dude. There's that... No wonder that guy has his thing still. Jeez. Okay, you know what? Just pretend I filled that up, okay? For the for the purposes of this, for the purposes of what we're doing right now, you don't just pretend I filled that up. How you fill that up is basically you'll go up to the thing and you'll hit the uh, you'll hit your uh, left click button, like your action button, shoot or whatever. I'm, I gotta take this. Normally, you would never want to take. You would never. There's a couple rules, kind of unwritten rules in Daisy. You you never want to walk on r long roads like this because you'll just get spotted so easily. So what you want to do is kind of walk in the forest. Just beside the road. Um, the thing about that is... Is that nobody nobody will kind of see you coming in. Now, obviously, I have a glow stick, so I'm like a giant beacon. You wouldn't do this if you're, if you're playing normally. You wouldn't want to have a giant glowing beacon announcing your arrival to everyone. It's just not good. But right there, it just shows, um, if you're new to Daisy, you don't have to fight people, that guy that we saw earlier. Most people will, if you're freshy and they're freshy, they'll probably leave you alone. Or they might, you know, get up to some punching hijinks. So never trust a freshy. Never trust anyone, essentially. Essentially in Daisy, you, you don't trust anyone. You can be friends with lots of people all the time. And you'll, you'll know when you, when you trust a guy. Oh, jeez. You'll know when you trust a guy. So really, guys, um, other than our food situation, we're actually pretty good. Look, we have a weapon. 
We've got this. Pretend that was filled with water. We got a melee weapon. We have some bandages, and we're actually pretty good on our uh, clothing situation. As you see, our our uh, thermometer is in the white, so we're actually pretty good. Oh, here's a zombie, so what I'm going to do is switch to my... I, I know you guys can't see, and trust me, I can barely see either. Wow. What I was going to say is I'm playing on a modded vanilla server, but it's like modded to be kind of harder, and I think... Uh, night vision, man, has been one of the things that they added. They, they made this more dark. Jesus. Wow. These brass knuckles are crucial. Though. I'm just, I'm punching the air. Oh my god. Now look, I pull up my vicinity again, right, after I killed these zombies, just to see. Always after a zombie fight, it's really good to get in the mindset of checking down here to see if you have a bleed. I don't. So oh, I'm good. Uh, here's a tomato, guys. The thing is, it's rotten. You'll you'll get sick if you eat that, so just don't worry. Here's a backpack, which is amazing for what I need. But look, you see how it says ruined? Ruined stuff, it won't even let me put it on because it's ruined. Um, now, what I can do, I believe, is take the backpack. Right? You see my backpack? And then I take my sewing kit. This is just a little bonus for you guys. Drag it into the combine. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I think you need a leather kit for those, sorry. There's leather kits, and then there's sewing kits, and then there's gun cleaning kits in DayZ. Um, oh my lord, where am I? And there's gun cleaning kits in DayZ. So, basically, if your gun's broken, you do the gun thing. If your backpack, or if you have leather stuff, you do the leather thing. And otherwise, you do the sewing thing for clothing and other stuff like that. I'm very lost because of this uh, night, but really if you just follow the roads to the next town, you cannot go wrong, which is what I'm attempting to do. But I think for this video, guys, I think that is it to get you up and started in DayZ. Now, again, this isn't meant to push beyond the very beginnings. I just wanted to give you a kind of a hold your hand through that. I mean, the best ways that I've learned how to play this game is when you team up with guys in game and they start explaining their mechanics and stuff to you as you're going. And that's what I wanted to do with this video. So if you like this video, uh, give me a like. I mean, give me a subscription if you uh, want to see more DayZ stuff. I got some other game stuff that I do. But basically, also leave a comment if you have any questions at all about anything DayZ related. Uh, because trust me, I might do another like intermediate video later. But there is a lot to learn with this game. And you are never done learning. As you can probably tell with just me playing this right now. You never stop learning this game. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it, guys. Hopefully, uh, this helped you out. And until next time, we'll catch you later.